Hello everyone. So we've built this application, debug it, polish it, and now we are ready for the most exciting part, publishing it to the world. In this episode, I'll guide you through preparing your app for publishing and publishing it on the Play Store. Let's get started. Before publishing, we need to prepare the app to ensure it is optimized, secure, and Play Store ready. To do that, you set the version code and then the version name. Come to Android Studio. Under the Gradle script, select build.gradle.kts under the app model. So select this one. Look for version code and then version name. These values help the Play Store identify your app version. So you increment this number for every new release and then you update this one to for major and then minor changes. So for the first time, it is already set to 1, meaning our first version. But in subsequent releases, you have to keep updating this number every time. And then this one, the first number usually represents a major changes in your application. Whilst the zero side represents minor changes in your application. So you have to keep updating it every time you make a release to Play Store. So the next thing we have to do is to optimize our application. Under the build type block, set this is minified to true. And then add so set the is minified to true a shrinkable resource to true so what this does is that it enables ProGuard in your application to string obfuscate optimize your code they also remove unused classes method resources and attribute to reduce the app size they also prevent reverse engineering now we can sync the project the next thing to do is to sign your application with release key. Come to Android Studio, look for build. Under build, you will see generate sign app bundle. So click on that and then select app bundle. Click on next. So here you create a new key store and set a strong password. Save the key store safely because you need it for subsequent updates. Select create new. Choose the location you want to keep the key store. I'll keep it on my desktop for now. I'll call it tracker key store. Then you set the password. Confirm password. And then set the password. So fill this. Okay. So if you don't have a company, you can enter your name, set your city, set your state, and then your country code. Once you got this, you click on OK to generate a new key store. Okay, so I'll click remember password and then select next, select release, create. So it will get some time to generate the key store and then generate the app bundle for you. Okay, now that is done, when you go to your desktop, so this is the key. And then when you come to the notification area, you see that app bundle has been generated successful for you. It is that app bundle that you upload to Play Store. Click on locate, which will take you to the folder where the app bundle has been located. So it is this that will submit to Play Store. All right, so that's all that's required for preparation of the application for publication. Next, let's go to publishing. Now, publishing to Play Store, first off, you need to create a developer account and that costs $25 for a lifetime just one time payment. So Google search Google developer account. You will be taken to this site. That's play.google.com console. Click on this link and then click here. Select your Gmail account. Then you follow the steps to buy a new account for yourself. Once you have that account, you can publish application to the store as many as you want. So I already have the account, so I'll just take you to my account and then we continue. So this is how the console looks like with your name and then your list of applications. You come to this create app, so click on create app. You enter your application name, choose whether your application is a game or a normal application. Is it a free or pay? You check these boxes to comply with the US law and then developer policy. So to do that, I've gone ahead to prepare what I'll be using for my 
application so the name and then you need to set the privacy policy link to uh, make a disclaimer as to users data and all that you'll be doing in the application you need users consent so i have this link for it yeah so when you come to my privacy policy I talk about information I collect, how I use those data and all, and then I provide email for support. So you have to generate this. So we'll go ahead and fill the form and then submit our application. So I'll copy the application name. And then the language English is an application. It's free application. I think they've introduced something. You get automatic protection for now. I don't know what it is, so I'll turn it off. I'll read about it and then enable it later. And then you accept the Play Store policy and then US laws. Now you go to the next stage. So now your application has been created successfully. When you check here, you see your application name. So you, now you are in the detail page or the dashboard page for your application. You can release your application for testing or for production. So to get started with, you come to where it says set up your app. You click here. There are a series of questionnaires or form you need to fill in order to publish your application. So as you can see, the first, we have to set the privacy policy. So I'll copy the privacy policy link. So I'll copy this link. And then save. Once you are done, you click on this icon to go back. The next is app access. So it's asking if all functionalities are available without any restriction. For now, it is the first option. If user has to sign in to use your application, then you select this. Then you go back. There's no advertisement in this application, so I'll select no. Content rating. So you supply email address. And then target audience so which people can use our application i'll say 17 and above is there a news app no the next one is data safety so it is this data safety and all that that you declare in your policy how you are collecting the data and then how you would use it for now i just think that the app collects data for performance and then a feature improvement so you have to state it there because i'll be enabling google analytics in the app to monitor the performance of the application so select next and then select does your app collect or share any of the required user data say yes is the data you collect encrypted yes and then no account you don't require account to use the app select no and then select data is deleted after 90 days select next i don't collect location no personal info finance no health no messages no photos no audio files no files and dog no calendar contact no app activity so this is what we do we collect information about app activity so app interaction and then select others and then select app information and performance like crashes diagnostics and then others then we have the device so the device id and all that i'm enabling this because like i said i'll be enabling google analytics so based on what functionality your app provides, then you answer the questions relating to those features so select next and then for app interaction and that you have to complete so select collect select yes so it's asking whether the data is required yeah i have to see app functionality what is the purpose for analytics app functionality developer communication and then prevent fraud personalization save select the next one collected click on save and then device id it is collected our performance
click on next click on save once it's saved you can come back so here you declare whether it's a government application no and then financial application so you come to the bottom and then select application does not provide any financial feature click here to save the health my app is not the health app click on save so the next thing to do is to set the app category you come here to app category and then select productivity so this application will make you quite productive so select that so tax so select lifestyle so personal assistant select productivity so to so apply so these are our tab lifestyle personal assistant productivity and two also set your store listing so your email so if you don't have a website write it in the comments let me show you what to do So the next is the store list listing. So it is here that you enter the description of the application, the graphics that users will see. So when you come to the SL, I have everything here. So we have short description. I'll select it, then fill this site. I think it's 80, 80 words. So let's revise this for items, for items and subscriptions effortlessly. I think this is cool. And then the long description. Okay. So the next is the app icon. So I also generated that image. So this is my app icon. And then for the graphic, I have this image generated that I'll use for the graphic. So it's just a screenshot that I designed the background. All right. So the next thing is to add the featured graphic. You can also make a video for it. So you upload it to YouTube and then you include the link here. The next is the screenshots. So you can upload the same thing here. So now we have our description and the graphics ready. If you want to support Chromebook or bigger screen as well, you can upload your stuff here. You can save it now and then come back. Okay, so. Um, now we have to come here create and publish a release so here you select the country and then we upload the app bundle so select the countries that's where you want to show your application for now i'll select all countries and then i'll save click on create release click on choose sign key Click on use Google generated sign key. Now click on upload. So now you go to your application. Inside your application, navigate to app and then select release. You see app release bundle, the one we generated in Android Studio. Then you select it. Okay, so it is complete now. So this is our version we want to leave and then the message you want to send to your users. So here I'll just say initial release. Then click on next. So now you can confirm release saved. And then you click on go to review overview. It's been uploaded. We have some issue here. Let's check complete declaration. Now there's no advertisement in our application. So say no and then save.
click on send for review so after google review which will take some few minutes your app will be live on the play store hello guys so whilst we wait for this video take some time to like these videos subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification button so that you don't miss my videos in the future thank you so after some time less than 30 minutes the app is now available for download on the play store so this is it you see now it has no download so you can just click here i think you click here to pin it click here to pin the app so it will be at the top then we can view it the detail of the application so for now there's no statistical data because we just publish it when you click here view on play store you can view the application page on play store so this is how the application will look on play store so we have the description when you click on more you see the description that we placed there it was published this date 14th no download and then the version and then release date all right so you can download it and try it out rate it if you like it i think from this moment i'll improve upon it and add more advanced features to the application I'll put the link in the video description. You can check it out and then download it and see for yourself. So there you have it. From the development to Play Store, we've covered the entire journey. I hope this series has empowered you to take your first step into Android development. Remember, this is just the beginning. Keep building, keep learning, and most importantly, enjoy the process. If you found value in this series, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And as always, happy coding. I'll see you in the next project.